so I wanted to make a video. Um, I'll try to be as fast as possible, but it's basically a frames per second drop fix for um, Final Fantasy XI because I found lo loads of people having this same issue with playing Final Fantasy where they come back to the game and the frames like don't sit at 30 like when they're in like congested areas or um, they're fighting with trusts or something that will drop to like 15 frames or 20 frames then back up to 30 frames, etc. Um, not everybody gets this kind of crap but like I found as a returning player I got this rubbish and I tried always to fix it and I, I, it took us a while but I finally figured out what was wrong with it. Um, I use a Nvidia card so I'm gonna like go through this quick. The, f the first thing you should be doing is like coming into here and um, go to your minus 3D settings okay and uh, go to um, your program settings here and then add and then find your launcher whether it be like the normal launcher a sheet of launcher or window or launcher use one of them and basically just add it go to browse find the launcher add it and then set that up and you see my settings there set them like that make sure your power management mode is in preferred maximum performance um, and that's the rest of the settings there so that's the first thing you should do when you've done that i prefer a sheeter I've never done it with Windower and not sure if they have one for Windower. But um, what, what happens is with Final Fantasy is it's, it's, it's such an old game, it's not used to running on more than um, one uh, like processor, one coder. It, it's used to like, uh, sorry, it's only used to using one and it's not used to like conventional cards for nowadays what like run on like six, seven, etc so it causes like frame drops so what you have to do is you have to set your final fantasy to only use one core and if you do that it'll fix a lot of your frames per second issues and your drops it really will because um it works a dream for me now um and there's a manual way of doing it or you can use like um the third party to do it but see if you're using it manually like this i'll show you you just um always run as an administrator um just give it a sec uh, for it to open up. <clears throat> okay, so that's opened up. So you have your play online in your task. So basically, you go to your task manager, find your viewer, go to details, and then you'll see pol.exe, which is the launcher. You right click on that, it's set affinity, and normally it will be like that because all you, you that's how many cores you have run. And Final Fantasy isn't used to this. So it causes your frames to spike. So what you do is turn them all, and I use two. You use your CPU. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I wouldn't use your first, your zero, and because you have other things running off that usually. So I would probably put it on two just to be safe. And click OK. And once you have that set, go into the game, and you should see your frames as perfect. Um, unless obviously, for some reason, it jumps back to all your all your um your cores but you can always keep checking it while you're in game anyway if you're using window and border i never use full screen um so once you get that going if you leave the game and go back in you will have to do this again but there's a way to keep it on all the time and that is um what i use in a sheet of. so basically you'll download a sheet of version 3 uh, if you're not sure you can just sort of a google uh, uh, sheet of version 3 uh, come to this location here download it and you can put like stuff on you know like add-ons and crap uh, and you can run the game through this which makes it a lot better in my opinion anyway um, so you get a shader anyway and I'll show you my settings I actually use 4k so I'll just show you this <coughs> um, so my settings are windowed mode and that's my resolution, about around resume menu size. It doesn't really matter if you um, don't use 4K, you can still set that at like 1920 or, or whatever, or 1440p, whatever you want to do. Um, so once you've got that set, uh, you need to go to plugins and this here called Affinity, install Affinity, because that is the, the, the program that allows you to, use, to set your cores in game, basically, without having to like, mess around. Um, so you, once you've got that set, you log into the game. Um, might go loud here because um, 
my sound might be loud here, but I'll just until I get in the game anyway. <laughs> Yeah, looking in now then. <laughs> now this obviously isn't this is running on all cores at the map. <laughs> now you probably won't be able to see it because obviously like I'm not fighting or anything at the minute. But like, if I was to fight now, I would get frame drops. I really would. Yeah. Because it's set on all my cores. I mean, they say I would drop to 25 then, 27. So it's that spiking even now, like there, 27. You can see it at the top left. Um, so the graphics settings that I give you just make the game run a little bit smoother. But if you can see, because of that, because it's run, trying to run on lots of cores. It's just look at this spike on time now watch. So affinity was the the um the program I was telling you about, so you just slash affinity uh, uh, two for the CUDA two so it only sets it to two cores. You'll see that there. Set process affinity mask to two. So it's only on it's only on one like core now. It's only running off one core, I'm sorry. Now watch. Doesn't matter what. Now, even when I'm out, even when I'm fighting, even when I've got trusts, I've never seen it drop. It never drops. Because it's running on one core now, instead of like, shitloads of cores, like, which basically just make the game bloody spike. So like, now you can also uncap it and try and play it in 60 frames, but I just prefer 30 anyway. I just, I just, I don't know. I just, I like it this way. So basically that is the fix. As long as you set this to one core, you should be fine. Okay, so I hope this video helped. Um, and obviously, um, like and subscribe. Okay, guys, thanks.